Hi guys, welcome to this video on ionic equations where you're going to learn how to write ionic equations for any reaction. So if we start off with what an ionic equation is then, it's basically a way of summarizing the useful things that are going on within any reaction involving ionic compounds. Now before you start, there are a couple of things that you need to know. The first of which is the formula of the compound ions. The second thing you need to know is how to find out the charge of ions from groups 1, 2, 6 and 7 and then how to find the formula when you've got those ions and those charges. And then the fourth step is how you can write and balance chemical equations, including state symbols. So there are four videos here which I'd like you to watch before we do anything else, and then the fourth one is only for your top grades. Okay, so if you had a question like this that said write the ionic equation for the following reaction, and you've got FeCl3, which is aqueous, reacts with 3NaOH, which is aqueous, to make FeOH3 and 3NaCl. So if you get a question like this, your first step is to separate the aqueous ions. And it's really important here that you don't separate out anything that's solid, liquid, or gas. So iron, I've got Fe3 plus and 3 of my Cl minuses. I've got three Na's and I've got three OH's, so that's three Na plus and three OH minus. Do this on the right hand side as well, so I've got Fe in brackets OH3, and that doesn't change because that's solid, and then I've got three Na pluses and three Cl minuses. Now, if you're not sure where I got the Fe3 plus from, if it's a transition metal and you're not given what the number of electrons in the outer shell is and you can't work out the charge, you can normally work it out from the compound. So if I've got FeCl3, each with a charge of minus 1, the plus charges have got to balance. So I've got three negative charges, which gives me minus 3. Therefore, the ions got to be plus 3. So I'm always going to have the same number of charges, positive and negative, either side. So it becomes Fe3+. plus. Okay, so you've separated out the ions. The next thing you need to do is anything that's the same on both sides, cross them out. So in this case, iron's not the same, but chlorine I've got on both sides, so I can put a line through both of those. I can do the same with my sodium, because I've got three Na pluses on both sides, but I can't do it with my OH minus, because I haven't got that. And once that's done, all that's left is to rewrite with your state symbols, taking out anything you've put a line through. So here I've got Fe3+, plus, which is aqueous, reacted with three OH minus ions, also aqueous, and then it's made Fe in brackets OH3. And that was my precipitate, therefore it's solid. And that is my completed ionic equation. So if we have a look at one more example then, this one says write the ionic equation for the following reaction. So again, let's start off. So I've got sodium, which is Na+. I've got chlorine, which is Cl-. minus. Again, if you didn't know how I worked that out, watch the video on finding the formula. I've got AgNO3, so I've got NNO3 minus iron, and therefore I've got to have an Ag+. Plus. From that, I can work out that my formulas are Na+, plus, plus Cl-, minus, plus Ag+, plus, plus NO3- minus on the left-hand side. We do the same on the right, so I have Na+, plus, plus NO3-, minus, and then I have AgCl, because that's a solid and I don't separate that out. The next thing I do is cross out the things that are the same, which in this case is Na plus and NO3 minus. Therefore, my ionic equation is Ag plus, usually best to put the metals first, plus Cl minus goes to AgCl. And we're not finished yet, because we need to put in the state symbols, which is Aq for my Ag plus, Aq for Cl minus, and S for my precipitate of silver chloride. Right, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So you've got two easy ones and one challenge one. So the easier ones are write the ionic equations for the following reactions. Well, we've got sodium hydroxide reacting with sulfuric acid to make sodium sulfate and water. And then in the second one, you've got copper sulfate reacting with sodium hydroxide to make sodium sulfate and copper hydroxide. So remember, the ones that you don't change into ionic 
into the ions is the L, the S, or the G. So only the eight quiz ones you separate out. Once you've done that, have a go at the challenge one. Only do that if you're confident at taking word equations and writing balanced equations from them. Pause the video, have a go at as much as you need to, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look at this one then. So, we've got, write the ionic equation for 2NaOH plus H2SO4 goes to NaSO, Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. Sodium is in group 1, so it becomes Na+, plus. I've got two of them. OH is one of the ones you need to remember, it's minus, I've got two of them. H+, plus for hydrogen, there's two of them, and SO4, two minus, you just need to remember for sulfuric acid for the SO4 sulfate. Do the same on the right hand side, so 2Na+, plus, 1SO4, 2 minus, and then my water here is a liquid so I don't separate it out. Cross out the ones that have got the same on both sides, which is my sodium and my sulfate, and then that gives you your answer. So I get 2OH-, minus, which is aqueous, plus 2H+, plus, aqueous, and then that gives me my water, which is H2O. The only thing I've missed off here is my balancing, so I needed two of them. So you'll get one mark for the OH minus plus 2H plus. You'll get one mark for the water, and then you'll get one mark for your state symbols in there as well. Okay, let's have a look at this one then. So here I've got copper sulfate. So my sulfate ion, you will remember, is SO4 2 minus. Therefore, my copper ion has got to be Cu2+, because I've only got one of them, and it's got to balance out. Sodium is group 1, so it becomes Na+, I've got two of them. Hydroxide is one of the ones you need to remember, OH-, and two of them. So on the right-hand side, do the same again, so I have two Na+, pluses. I have one SO4, which we know is 2-, minus. and then my copper hydroxide I don't do anything with, because it's a solid, so it's CuOH2. I then get rid of things that are the same on both sides. So in this case, it's my sodium, Na, and my sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. So that leaves me with Cu2+, plus, which is aqueous, plus 2OH-, minus, which is also aqueous, and then that forms my copper hydroxide, so CuOH2, and that is a solid. So you'll get one mark for your reactants, having this side correct, one mark for your products, having this side correct, and then one mark for your state symbols. Okay, on to the challenge one then. So this one says you've got to write the ionic equation for the neutralization reaction between solid sodium and sulfuric acid. So start off in all these situations with the actual word equation. So I've got sodium and sulfuric acid. Then the next thing to do is to figure out your products. So if I've got sodium and then sulfuric acid, it's going to make sodium sulfate. If you're not sure on that, have a look at the naming salts video. If I've got a metal on its own, I'm going to have hydrogen gas given off. Then from that, I can work out my state symbols and I can also work out my balanced equation. So sodium is a solid, which is Na. Sulfuric acid is one of the ones you need to remember, H2SO4. It's aqueous. Sodium sulfate is Na2SO4, because I have Na plus and SO4 2 minus, and hydrogen, which is H2. So the next thing is to balance it, and then separate it out into the ions, which in this case still means I've got 2Na because it's solid. I get 2H+, plus and SO4, 2 minus, which are both aqueous. And then on the right-hand side, I get Na+, plus and I've got two of them. I've got SO4, 2 minus, which is aqueous and then I've got my hydrogen gas, which I don't split up because it's already a gas. So all I need to do now is cross out the things that are the same on both sides, which is only SO4 2 minus in this situation, and then all that's left is to rewrite it out. So I have 2Na, which is a solid, and I'm reacting it with 2H+, which is aqueous, and I will get 2Na+, plus H2. And that is my ionic equation. So you'll get one mark for the reactants, one mark for the products, and then one mark for the actual um, 
state symbols. And your fourth mark is to have everything correct. Okay, hopefully you're feeling a bit more confident with that. There's a couple of questions that you can have a go at in the review section just to see how well you've done. So you've got two ionic equations there and then your challenge is to do another one, this time between solid calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. And that ends this video. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on the subscribe button down below, visit the website and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter.